How well do you know thy neighbour? Well, we asked some rapid fire questions of the community to find out what they know. I've got some rapid fire questions, if you Ooh, can. You ready? <laughs> Let's go, see how we go. Who's the unofficial mayor of Ch Chambers Flat? Oh, it's gotta be Ian, the manager. It's gotta be Ian, everybody knows Ian. He's been away sick and we've all missed him. You know, he is. Marty, Marty the mayor, Marty the mayor. Yeah, Marty knows what's going Marty on. Marty knows what's going on. Barry, Barry in 78, He's he's been here the longest and um, yeah, he's not a bad old guy yet. I would say Ian Thompson. Uh, without doubt, Barry Keats. Uh, who's got the best lawn? You got Dave down in, in 42 I think he is, he's done really well out the front of his place. Marilyn. Any fake lawn? <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Ah, uh, our neighbours, Paul and Sue, next door. I would say Rob and Judy Mansell. I'm not even going to answer that. Next one, who's the uh, who's the party animal of the group? Ah, uh, there's a couple of girls over here, one, two, five. <laughs> Marty? I say Marty, yeah, I say Marty, yeah. There's a few of us. Uh, I'd, I'd put myself up there, yeah, I... Oh, uh, me, of course, me and my partner. Well, shame she's not here, but yes, we are. Yeah, oh, we've been noted as the party animals anyway. Oh, gee whiz. Uh, I'd have to talk to my solicitor about this one before I release an answer. Uh, hey, who's the best cook? Between the two of us, it's... Uh, it's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's so many. There's so many. Hmm. I'd have to say my neighbour, Anita. And this is a bit of a favourite, would be Maria Caprutos. Who's the fitness freak around the place? Um, Peter. I'd say Peter Thompson. Oh, Pete. Pete would have to be the fitness. Yeah. He's, He's yeah. no one is. Peter Thompson. Peter's um, in the gym every day. Hey, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Fly. Yeah. Without yeah, my bike. Yeah, fly. Yeah. I want to go as fast as I can without my bike. Make money growing trees, I think, so we can have more things everyone. I'd probably fly to Canada. Yeah. Yeah. What's the strangest thing you've eaten? Uh, probably having a crack at the uh, cockroaches and spiders in China. Parlour once. Abalone. Yeah, ab abalone, yeah. Oh, well, they blew up like a balloon. Yeah, I was allergic to it. I like them, but snails. Uh, favourite thing about living here? And my favourite thing about living here is that I can sit out on my deck and work all day and, you know, I'm in, I'm in craft heaven. Lifestyle. Do what we want to do, when we want to do it. The affordability, it's realistically outstanding. For the price that you pay here, for what you get, the pool, the barbecues, the gyms, the pool tables, it's it's yours, open slaver. People are easy to get along with. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm known for walking up and down the streets whistling or, or humming. No, everything, life's good. Definitely the residents. Uh, they all bring a unique story um, and yeah, just amazing stories and history. And they bring a great history of Australia over the last lot of decades. So, you know, their stories are just amazing. So.